Ladies and gentlemen, we meet this afternoon in very somber circumstances. In the aftermath of a young life which has been cut short, as the Minister for HRD and also as a mother, I had conveyed my condolences and expressed my grief on the death of Rohit, also conveyed my sympathies to the family. However, much has ensued since then. Unfortunately, because of a lot of misrepresentation of facts, I am compelled today to put forth certain observations, certain facts which have been gained from the ground in the larger public interest. On the 3rd, 4th August 2015, an FIR registered indicates that a group of students, one group belonging to the Ambedkar Students Association, allegedly attacked another student. We have ascertained and we express today publicly that this is not a Dalit versus non-Dalit confrontation as has been the efforts of some to ignite passions. The student who was attacked on the night of the 4th of August himself is an OBC student. An FIR with regards to the same was lodged. I am sure the state police will give you the details of the same. The proctoral board of the university inquired into the matter. However, it came to the fore in the first report that they did not consult either party. They were asked to consult all parties and submit their reports and findings. This is the information we have received from the university itself. The university has further informed us that the Executive Council, which is a statutory body under the University of Hyderabad Act 1974, in its meeting held, upheld the punishment given. Meanwhile, the student who was attacked on the night of the 3rd and 4th of August, his mother filed a case in the High Court. And the High Court ordered that an action taken report be submitted with regards to the same. The Executive Council Subcommittee, headed by a senior most professor, and here again I am compelled to report that this professor is himself from the Dalit community. It was constituted and it upheld the punishments and the recommendation of expulsion of these students. However, the full Executive Council in its meeting held on the 27th of November took a lenient view and decided to permit the students access to all the departments, library, academic meetings, but not in the hostel, public places and administration. This also was communicated to the High Court. The warden who communicated to the students asking them to vacate the hostel, again I am compelled to say the warden himself is from the Dalit community. These students challenged the order of suspension from the hostel before the High Court. The High Court did not agree to stay the punishment. The students started protesting. They erected a small tent. That is what the university informs us. The Dean of Student Welfare was regularly discussing and counselling the students to have patience to know the court decision which was awaited. It was also discussed, the university informed us, between the Vice Chancellors and the student for two hours and everybody was requested according to the university to wait for the court order. 
and we believe that the university in the evening of the 17th of January received note and news about the suicide and unfortunate incident which happened with Rohit. There are two, three issues I'd like to highlight here. The Executive Council was not constituted by this government. The members functioning in this Executive Council are nominees of the previous government. At every step, the Executive Council, as per the information procured from the university, informed the Dalit members in the faculty so that no aspersions with regards to caste can be cast on the decisions which are taken as duly authorized by the Universities Act. I would like to add here that there are some media debates which claim a particular suicide note which has been left behind by the student. On behalf of the team which was sent to the ground, we requested the local police to give us a certified copy of the suicide note so that rumors can be laid to rest with regards to what is the actual content. I hold that note in my hand today. This note does not mention any university official. This note does not mention any national political organization. This note does not mention any MP. In fact, the only one last line in the note which has been certified by the police is a line which I am quoting from this particular note to ASA family. Sorry for disappointing all of you. You loved me very much. There are some bad water in us. I wish all the very best for the future. This is the only reference to any organization in the suicide note that we have procured from officers on the ground, duly certified by the local police. Why I am compelled to come out today and state these facts out in the open? There has been a malicious attempt to ignite passions and present this as a caste battle. It is not. This is an issue which is being investigated by local police. This is an issue which is sub judice in a high court. Not only as a minister but also as a citizen of the country, I have complete faith that the judiciary and the police investigation shall ensure justice for all. I now leave the floor open for any questions that you may have. मैं राहुल जी के इस वक्तव्य को मात्र दो रिपोर्ट्स के माध्यम से जवाब देना चाहती हूँ। एक इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स में शायद स्टोरी आई थी कि हमने जो सेंट्रल सेक्रेटरीयट का मैनुअल है ऑफिस प्रोसीजर का उसमें जो अधिकारी हैं उनके पास ये आदेश है कि मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट जो भी हो वो अगर आपको कोई चिट्ठी लिखें तो आपको उसका जवाब एक निश्चित अवधि में देना पड़ेगा ये पांच मई 2011 का एक पत्र है जो पूर्व के मंत्री श्री नारायण सामी जी का है इस पत्र में भी नारायण सामी जी ने लिखा है and I'm quoting, guidelines laid down by the, in the Central Secretariat Manual of Office Procedure for Handling Communication received from members of Parliament specify that such communication should be attended to promptly and acknowledged between, within 15 days followed by a reply within the next 15 days. In cases where a delay is anticipated, an interim reply should be given indicating the possible date for a final reply. This is to ensure prompt attention is given to communication received from members of Parliament. Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances has been repeatedly advising various ministries, departments to scrupulously follow these guidelines. This is not standard procedure set by this government. 
This procedure has been <coughs> followed by previous governments, including this letter of a previous Congress minister indicates that this was a standard procedure of communication even then. Yes. 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 And that minister uh, and that MP was? Bandaru Dattatreji is not the only member of parliament who has raised concerns about the University of Hyderabad. I am, uh, I am, you are right, in possession of a letter written by Sri Hanumantha Raoji, Congress MP, on the 17th of November 2014. In this letter, he has claimed that in the past four years, not the present VC, but the earlier VC appointed by the Congress government. There have been suicides by students from the Telangana region who are from marginalized communities. He has in his letter to the ministry written that he wants a probe ordered. Mr. Ban uh, Mr. Hanumantha Rao's letter, we also wrote to the university to give us response to this particular allegation made by Sri Hanumantha Rao, we sent six reminders to the university for the letter of allegation sent by Hanumantha Raoji, who is a Congress MP. Yeah. Yes. I am of the opinion, problem? since this is a sub matter, it's also a matter of police investigation. Why I hold the Hanumantha Raoji's letter in public view is that our communication to the university is very simple. It's a standard procedure. We have to ascertain facts from the ground and respond to the member of parliament as process laid down by rules. This is a rule which is followed for MPs or any communication that you receive from any political ideology. For Hanumantha Raoji's letters, we sent six reminders. That is all the jurisdiction that we have. It is then the university's responsibility or it is their discretion to reply to us at their discretion. We cannot impose upon a university. Yes. Or the kind of treatment that Dalit students are meted out in the university. My request is this, madam. I would not encourage any rumor mongering. That is why the suicide note that I hold in my hand today has been duly certified by the police there. My request is let us be extremely responsible. It is very easy to ignite passions and then regret in leisure. Do you think so, as somebody who is from the responsible segment of media, Till such time you cannot certify to me from the local police, I will not respond to a communication which right now is presumably can also be debated whether it's origin in terms of its origin. origin. Mm -hmm. Hence my request would be given the constitutional position I am in, I will not give a comment on unsubstantiated reports but only facts which are in my possession. Fact finding report, uh, fact finding team, आज शाम को दिल्ली लौट रही है और वो अपनी रिपोर्ट हमको देगी विधिवत। आज मैं आपको आपके सम्मुख के फैक्ट्स इसलिए रख रही हूँ क्योंकि मेरा ये मानना है कि एक स्वतंत्र देश में हर व्यक्ति को अपनी बात कहने का अधिकार है, लेकिन जातिवाद फैलाकर लोगों को भड़काकर समुदायों में भिड़ंत करवाने का वो अधिकार नहीं है इसलिए आज का मेरा ये प्रयास मात्र एक अपील है कि ये कोई दलित वर्सेस नॉन दलित का झगड़ा नहीं है इस पूरे प्रकरण में पुलिस के आधार से जो हमको उपलब्ध हुआ है यूनिवर्सिटी के रिकॉर्ड से जो हमें उपलब्ध हुआ है पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट में आपके सम्मुख आज मैंने इसे प्रस्तुत किया है 
Ma'am, Mr. Dattatreya's letter, uh, do you endorse the fact that he says in that letter that the Dalit protests were anti-national? Many people are asking, ma'am, this calling the Dalit groups protest anti-national, is that something that the government I endorses? I think that you should not misconstrue fact. I'm very clear on this. Fact of the matter is, an MP wrote to us about certain observations. We, within this ministry, forwarded that observation for a response from the university. Do not ignite passions by naming a particular caste. I'm sure you're aware Mr. Datatre himself is a Yadav. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine that in modern India, in this particular, at the dawn of this new year, I'm here giving you caste identities for everybody involved so that the passions which have been wrongly ignited in some way can be responsibly concluded in a dialogue. Have you ever seen an HRD minister come out and give you an explanation with everybody's caste certificates? My request is there is a death of a child. It is under investigation. The facts are before you. That is all I have to say on this. Ma'am, I respect that. Do not misconstrue or give any other direction to this particular conversation. Ma'am, ma I say this with a lot of pain. Sure. Ma'am, I respect to caste what identity saying. to faculty members, to students, just to put the facts on the forefront. Ma'am, I respect what you're saying. It's just that the Ambedkar students. We are very clear as a government. Yeah. We have sent a fact finding team recognizing that's the jurisdiction of the state government under whom law and order functions. And that is why we have received a duly notified copy of the suicide vote, which blames nobody and nothing. This is the fact. The only reference to an organization is to the Ambedkar Student Association of which this boy himself was a member. But Anything said by me more than this would be an intervention into an investigation which is taking place right now. Let it happen ma independently. Ma ma do you think part of the protest has been through the political party? My request is only this. I can understand that political parties want to express their shock and grief. Possibly that is why a Congress MP Hanumanta Rao wrote to me about suicide of Dalit students in this very university in the past four years, even when the government of the day was not in center. Why was this issue not taken up then? Why now? Why nobody in the Congress party spoke about it then and not now? is not a debate I want to indulge in. I have said it on day one. It is not that I am mere mein samarthi nahi hai ye debate karne ka. Lekin ye bachche ki maut hoi hai, mein sirf facts pe baat karungi. Is se zyada kuch nahi karungi, political cheeta kashi nahi karungi. Statements dena aata hai, ye desh janta hai. Lekin is vibhaag ki mantri hone ke naate, mein apni maryada mein rehe ke facts के माध्यम से जुडिशरी और पुलिस अपना काम कर रही है निष्पक्ष होकर जांच हो रही है ऐसा मुझे आश्वासन ऐसा मैं आश्वस्त हूं और न्याय होगा आई थिंक दे नीड टू लुक एट ऑल दीज फैक्ट्स फर्स्ट मैं न्यूज नेशन से मोहित दुबे हूं जब शुरुआती रिपोर्ट ये कहती है कि जा, जाति संघर्ष नहीं था तो सियासी दल के बड़े बड़े नेता वहां पहुंचकर ये कहते हैं और सियासी संवेदना प्रकट करते हुए सीधे तौर पे केंद्र सरकार पर आप निशाना साधते हैं उनकी सियासी मंशा है ये उनकी राजनीतिक विवशता हो सकती है लेकिन मेरा संविधानिक प्रयास और मेरी संविधानिक प्रतिबद्धता ये है कि जो तथ्य है उनको आपके सामने रखू तथ्य ये है कि जिस लड़के की पिटाई हुई वो भी ओबीसी है यहां पर जातिवाद कुछ नहीं हुआ एग्जीक्यूटिव काउंसिल ने भी जो दलित समुदाय के फैकल्टी मेंबर्स हैं उनको और पुलिस को भी अपने संग लेकर निर्णय किए हैं हाई कोर्ट ने भी इस विषय में हस्तक्षेप नहीं किया कि पनिशमेंट को बदला जाए इसलिए मेरा मात्र आग्रह है कि इसको जाति का रुख देना अपनी राजनीति के लिए न सिर्फ राजनीति से बहुत बड़ा एक डिसर्विस है लेकिन छात्रों की भावनाओं को इस तरह से भड़काना उन छात्रों के हित में नहीं है ना ही उनके माता पिता के हित में है जो बड़े अरमानों से अपने बच्चों को यूनिवर्सिटीज और कॉलेजेस भेजते हैं जी मैडम मिनिस्टर आई हैव रिसीव नो सच इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी 
Madam Minister, it is a very sensitive matter and we yes. all have to be very responsible. Yes. But it seems at this point in time the most responsible was Rohit Vemula, who wrote a very responsible uh, suicide note, and not naming anyone uh, to ensure that there is no inciting of violence. But that does not take away from the fact that parents are talking, that, that his own uh, 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 students and the student's body is, is talking about the matter. And it, while it is a very sensitive matter, we just want to know uh, what's the response that the university has given to the HRD ministry? And whether like I said, the, parents the facts that I have put out in the public forum are facts which have been ascertained from the local police and the university. Is there a conversation with regards to this unfortunate incident? I'm sure there's a conversation everywhere in the country, especially in families who have children who aspire for a better life. The parents are demanding, the parents like I are said, demanding justice. There is a police inquiry which is underway. There is a high court procedure which is underway. But insofar as me speaking as a parent today, I'm sure that it is a matter of conversation everywhere. My only request is, let's have a responsible dialogue and deliberation, which is steeped in facts. Yeah. Ma'am, ma over here. I have also done this in the first day, that until the facts don't come in my hand, I will not do any of the tippings. Because in these cases, without knowing anything, to say anything to you, अपने आप में उस पूरे घटनाक्रम के साथ अन्याय होगा आज सारी जानकारी विधिवत मेरे पास आने के बाद ही मैं आपके सम्मुख ये वार्तालाप कर रही हूँ मैम सम मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट बिलोंगिंग टू बीजेपी एंड आल्सो टू द दलित कम्युनिटी हैव डिमांडेड दैट दे हैव द प्राइम मिनिस्टर शुड मेक ए स्टेटमेंट ओवर दिस इश्यू सो दैट द कम्युनिटी कैन बी री अश्वर्ड एंड ऑल्सो दे वो मोस्टली एजिटेटेड ओवर the color or maybe some BJP uh, leader statement that it was not a Dalit issue or it was not a caste issue at all. It was a uh, you know fight uh, between the general students and also his views on terrorism and anti-national activities. What do you have to say about it? Like I I'm asking about the demand. I'm just saying this categorically. Today ministers from the government are seated here before you with facts, not with conjecture. We are seated before you with facts which is documented not only by the university but also by the local police. Repeatedly my request is, this is not a Dalit versus non-Dalit issue. My plea to every member of the media who is reporting on this is that at the first instance you need to highlight that. Passions have been ignited because of wrong information, misconstrued information, or for that matter, misrepresentation. This is an attempt to set the record straight. Ma'am? Ma'am, I will say that the report report that will be submitted in the evening, it will be the whole report of Ghatnakram. साथ ही हमारी क्या पत्राचार हुआ है लेकिन ये जो पत्राचार हनुमंत जी के लिए भी हमने किया इसके भी हमने यूनिवर्सिटी को छह रिमाइंडर्स भेजे हैं तो इस बात का ये संकेत देना कि सिर्फ एक एमपी के लेटर के लिए हमने रिमाइंडर्स दिए और दूसरे एमपी के लिए इनफैक्ट हनुमंत जी के लिए ज्यादा रिमाइंडर्स गए हैं तो स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर सभी एम के जैसे मैंने आपको दिखाया है सामी साहब का लेटर सबके लिए एक है कानून और प्रोसीजर सबके लिए एक है और जब वो जवाब आते हैं तब हम उस मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट को विधिवत ये कहते हैं कि यूनिवर्सिटी ने हमें इस घटनाक्रम के बारे में ये ये जानकारी दी है इनफैक्ट हनुमंत राव जी ने तो आ, हाँ जी मैम इस मैम मैम इस तरफ मैम I think the Congress does not know how to possibly look at procedure which has been set in motion. The Congress possibly doesn't recognize that for the first time when a member of parliament communicates to us, we have to seek facts from the university before ordering any kind of probe if the response which has been received from the university is not in order. We are following procedure. Congress wants to 
shoot politically on this issue it is expected but unfortunate i have put out the facts in the open any concerned citizen who wants to look at facts will look at facts and conclude accordingly ma'am aapne kaha ki ek bacche ki maut hui hai uske baad kai aur students wahan par protest kar rahe hain nishchit kalin hartal par baithe hain kal rahul gandhi gaye the kejriwal jane wale hain ji achuri aap mein se kya koi wahan par jayega unse baat karega kin sarkar ki mera aagrah ye hai कि मेरी उपस्थिति से कहीं कोई ये संकेत ना दे कि मैं हस्तक्षेप कर रही हूं जैसे कि कांग्रेस पार्टी ने अभी टाइम्स नाउ को अपना एक बयान दिया है बिना शायद पढ़े प्रोसीजर तो मैं वहां जाकर इस बात का संकेत बिल्कुल नहीं देना चाहती कि हमारी ओर से कोई दखल अंदाजी हो रही है हमें इस बात का पूर्ण विश्वास है कि तथ्यों के आधार पर पुलिस पूरी गंभीरता के साथ क्षमता के साथ अपनी प्रोसीजर्स को पूरा करेगी और जो विधिवत कोर्ट है उसके सम्मुख इस रिपोर्ट को प्रस्तुत करेगी मैं आपको बोलना चाहूंगी कि मेरे पास थावरचंद जी ने जो एक कागज दिखाया है उनका नाम एफआईआर में थावरचंद जी है लेकिन ये मेरा विषय नहीं है क्योंकि ये लॉ एंड ऑर्डर स्टेट का सब्जेक्ट है मेरा विषय क्योंकि यूनिवर्सिटी से संबंधित है इसलिए यूनिवर्सिटी के माध्यम से मेरे पास जितनी जानकारी आई वो मैंने आपके सामने प्रस्तुत की है हाँ जी हनुमंत राव जी लेटर स्पीक्स नथिंग ऑफ एबीवीपी it speaks about a law and order detail like i said hanumanta rao ji's letter is similar in nature but speaks about deterioration of law and order it speaks about suicides in the past 4 years of students from the marginalized community so my request is his letter even says that there is allegation of land grab there is allegation of misappropriation of funds he says and i quote seven students have ended their lives there was also a rape and kidnap attempt at the university hence there are members of parliament who are raising concerns with regards to de deteriorating law and order situation and this member of parliament from the congress party in fact reiterates that this is not a new problem but a problem that persisted over 4 years that means it persisted even when the congress was in power so to answer to eshwarya's question as to the allegation of congress party if they had fixed this 4 years ago possibly rohit would have been alive even today yes smriti ji ek thoda sawal hai ki ashok vajpayee ne isi issue par delete apna lota diya hai क्या आप जिस तरह से फैक्ट्स आपके सामने रख रही हैं क्या आप उनसे आप आप उनसे अनुरोध करेंगी जिस तरह से उन्होंने आरोप लगाया कि इंटोलेंट गवर्नमेंट है और दूसरा दूसरा इसे जुड़ा हुआ है मेरा आपसे आग्रह इतना ही है भाई साहब दूसरा एक कि ये विषय आज तथ्यों को आपके सम्मुख रखने के लिए है लार्ज पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट में ताकि देश भर में इस प्रकार की बातों को लेकर किसी को भी समुदाय को एक दूसरे के खिलाफ भड़काया ना जाए और मैं आपको अपील करती हूं कि जो तत्व चाहते हैं कि समुदायों के बीच में झड़प हो जो चाहते हैं कि उससे उनका अपना मुनाफा हो उनको आप जीतने ना दे इतना मैं हाथ जोड़कर आपको अपील करती हूं आज तथ्य सामने रखें, उसके बाद जिसको जिस निष्कर्ष पर पहुंचना है जिसको जो स्टेटमेंट देना है ये स्वतंत्र देश है आप कुछ भी बोल सकते हैं ये तथ्य है पुलिस और कानून अपना काम करेगी ऐसा मेरा विश्वास लेकिन कांग्रेस ये भी करे सर मैम मैडम सिंस लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इज नॉट इन माई ज्यूरिस्डिक्शन आई एम नॉट इक्विप टू कॉमेंट ऑन दैट मैम मेरा मैम मेरा सवाल ये है मैम मैम मैं इतना ही कहूंगी कि आज दो मेंबर टीम की जो रिपोर्ट आएगी और पुलिस ने वहां पर जो कार्रवाई की है क्योंकि लॉ एंड ऑर्डर मेरे ज्यूरिस्डिक्शन में नहीं है मेरे ज्यूरिस्डिक्शन में मात्र इतना है कि घटनाक्रम क्या हुआ उसकी जानकारी मेरे पास पहुंचे उसके बाद लोकल पुलिस में और पुलिस प्रशासन जो वहां की सरकार के अंतर्गत आता है मेरा विश्वास है उनमें सामर्थ्य है कि वो न्याय करेंगे बिना राजनीति मैम मेरा सवाल ये है कि आपके सहयोगी ने जो सवाल चिट्ठी में जो लिखा आपको उसमें कहा कि वो एंटी नेशनल वो लोग वहां पे हैं उन्होंने कौन सा इन्वेस्टिगेशन कराया कि वो मैंने रिपीटेडली आपसे कहा है 
कि प्रयास हो रहा है देश भर में बच्चों को भड़काने का तथ्य आपके सम्मुख रख दिए हैं चार अगस्त की जो एफआईआर की कॉपी है आप में इतना सामर्थ्य है कि आप लोकल पुलिस से पूछें उस एफआईआर में क्या दर्ज है वो मेरा जुरिस्डिक्शन नहीं है मेरी सबसे एक ही अपील है जानबूझकर छात्रों को समुदायों को ना भड़काया जाए तथ्य सबके सम्मुख है धन्यवाद I am of the opinion, sir, that the committee which has gone there to investigate will submit its report. The report will reflect if any due process was not followed, and I can only comment on it after I see the written report. Ma'am. Ma